In this video, I'm going to solve the seventh problem from chapter 19. Suppose 2.8 mole of an ideal diatomic gas with molecular rotation but not oscillation experience a temperature increase of 45 Kelvin under constant pressure conditions. What are the energy transferred as heat? The change in internal energy of the gas, the work done by the gas, and change in the total translational kinetic energy of the gas. So here we have four subdivisions. So in these four subdivisions, first of all, we are going to calculate the heat energy. So for that, first of all, we have to know what is given in the question. So in this questions, we are going to use the diatomic gas and its mole is given, so which is 2.8 mole of a diatomic gas, and the condition is constant pressure condition. And the change in temperature, here they mention as 45 Kelvin. By using this, we are going to find the amount of heat energy transferred. Clear? So we are going to solve one by one. So better I can just write the given one more time. So the number of moles of the diatomic gas here is mentioned as 2.8 mole and the change in temperature they mention here as 45 kelvin and the gas here is diatomic gas which is diatomic gas and the condition here is constant pressure clear okay so let's we start with the first question. We are going to find the amount of energy is transferred as gas. So it's transferred as heat. So we studied the equation for finding the amount of heat energy is transferred as a heat, which is Q equal to N Cp delta T. Because condition is constant pressure. So we have to use a molar specific heat at constant pressure. So I am going to use this rule for getting the answer for the first question. Before that, we have to identify what should be the value of this Cp. For diatomic gas, the value of the Cp is given as 7 over 2 multiplied by R. So now what I am going to do, I am going to take this Cp value, I am going to substitute here. If you substitute here, the equation of heat will change as N multiplied by 7 over 2 times of R multiply with delta T. Now we have all the values. So the number of moles here they mentioned as 2.8, right? Multiply over, multiply by 7 over 2 multiply with the gas constant, which is 8.314, right? 8.314. And the change in temperature here is mentioned as 45 Kelvin. So now I'm going to calculate the value. So let's we see what should be the answer for the first question. I got the answer as 3.67 multiply 10 power 3 joule. So this is the answer for the first question. And in the second question, we are going to find what should be the change in internal energy of the gas. So what should be the change in internal energy of the gas? We studied the internal energy of the gas will take the formula change in internal energy of the gas will take the role of N CV delta T. And for this CV, we have to use the rule for diatomic. So the diatomic gas for CV takes the value of 5 over 2 times of R. Now I am going to take this value. I am going to substitute here by that. This equation will become N multiply by 5 over 2 times of R multiply with delta T. Now I am going to substitute the value. The N takes the value of 2.8 multiply 5 over 2 times of 8.314 multiply with 45. So now I am going to multiply top and divide with bottom 2. So let's be wait for getting the answer. I got the answer of change in internal energy as 
2.62 multiply 10 power 3 2. So this is the answer I got for the second part. Now we have to move to the third part. So in the third part, we are going to find what should be the work done by the gas. For getting the work done, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the first law of thermodynamics. What is the first law of thermodynamics? Heat energy Q equal to change in internal energy plus work done. Now I'm going to rearrange this equation in terms of work done. Therefore, work done equal to Q minus change in internal energy. And we already got the answer for Q in the first part as 3.67 multiply 10 power 3. And the change in internal energy value we got in the second part as 2.62 multiply 10 power 3. I'm going to substitute that value here for getting the answer for work done. So let's be wait. What should be the answer? So the Q we got in the first part as 3.67 multiply 10 power 3 minus in the second part we got the internal energy change as 2.62 multiply 10 power 3 and the answer for the third part is 1.05 multiply 10 power 3 and the unit for the work done is joule and this is the answer for the third part clear now we have to go to the fourth part so what is given in the fourth part we are going to find what should be the change in the total translational kinetic energy of the gas. As we already studied the formula for total translational kinetic energy of the gas in the theory, and we already studied the rule for that is delta K equal to 3 over 2 N or delta T. Now I am going to substitute the value here for finding that total translational kinetic energy so which is equal to 3 over 2 multiply the n value here is 2.8 multiply with 8.314 multiply with the change in temperature here they mentioned as 45 kelvin so when you multiply the top and divide with bottom two we will get the answer as 1571.3 joules So once again, I will calculate. Yes, answer is right. So the unit here is joules. Okay. So this is the answer for the last part. Clear? That's it. Thank you.